Right -o. Hey guys, Craig here from Craig Solar and Battery Adventures. Um, I'm on the other side of the camera today. I had a mate help me. Thanks, Colt, for coming over. No worries. So what I'm going to do is we're going to test. What have we got? One, two, three, four panels today. We've got Old Faithful claimed 80 watts. You know, I normally get around 60, 65 watts out of this. I use it as a base line, and it works. Okay. Next, I purchased this um, Thunder 240 watt panel. It's three glass modules that fold out. So we'll be testing this. This was uh, $179 delivered. You know, really good value for, for $179. Bucks. Let's see if it performs today. Third, this is a Voltex. Most people would, would have seen this brand around. 200 watt panel. I think it cost me $240 delivered. We'll see how that goes. And the last test we're going to do, and as Big Ted used to say, I'm excited. How good is this one? This is the new iTech World 300 solar blanket with Raptor skin. This baby set me back about $830 delivered. So, and it's a monster. Look at that, it's nearly three meters long. Right, eh? let's get into it. Clifford, you stay there. Let's test this one first get our base we'll just plug him in I'm using the Ellie Joy meter again which it's within one or two watts it really is I've tested it with a Victron MPPT and for this purposes you know it's really really close enough let's get him in under the shade there and we'll click the test button there we go guys 73 watts she's a beauty hey moving along we'll go to the Voltex that's close and the sun. Yeah, perfect day. Look at it today, eh? Lovely. South Coast, New South Wales. Doesn't get any better than this, guys. Right, eh? Let's plug the Voltex in. Now, we sort of propped it up, as you can see. You know, it's about as good as people are going to do when they go camping. 200 watt of this baby. And we'll do a test. 88 watt. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, I, you know... You know I don't really like the blankets. And people will go, 88 watt out of 200? Come on, Craig. Let's test the Thunder. 240 watt, baby. Now, I'm a bit of a gambling man, and I would nearly put bucks on this is going to put out over 200. Let's have a look. Ah, 203 watt from a claim 240 watt. $179 delivered. Yes, it's bulky, but geez, it performs. That's a winner, hey? Less than a buck a watt. Right on. Last but not least. High Tech World, 300. What's your guess, Cole? How many watts is this baby going to put out? Uh, let's make a guess of about 140. Oh, that's pretty, pretty bad if it is that. All right, let's do a test. 144 watt, Cole. Hey, I should have taken that bet. 144 watt, guys, from 300 claimed output. Now, this Ellie Joy, it works. As I said, it's close enough. Righto, to sum up, Old Faithful. 100 years old, 73 watts from 80. Next, we got... 8085 from this one from memory. Voltex. $240. That's a fail, obviously. Thunder. 240 watt, 179 bucks. Over 200 watt every day of the week. That's the one I'd buy, guys. Problem is, yes, it's heavy and it's bulky. But hey, bang for your buck. I don't think you can actually beat this panel. Finish up. Tech World, eight hundred dollars, three hundred watt plane. This thing is a monster. Like it's three meters long. Awkward, very awkward to set up by yourself. I reckon it's a fail. Hey, thanks a lot. Stay tuned.